Hi, this is Brenda Short. This is about my 50th attempt at um, videoing and um, after being creative I think I found a way to do this. Um, so here goes. For my preliminary proposal I will discuss how environmental influences affect health and wellness. I think we all can agree the obvious physical, external influences in our environment would include air, water quality, housing, nutrition, and other physical um, characteristics would include um, substance or alcohol abuse and the degree to which we're physically active. So I decided to narrow my focus more specifically um, away from physical on, and rather on how social and cultural influences shape our behavior and attitudes around how we care for ourselves. For example, some um, of the social influences would include socioeconomic status, whereby how much we have or lack in resources has a significant impact on what we can access. This would include access to good food, health care, transportation, housing, and education. And, and um, actually, in fact, considering socioeconomic status alone, there are three basic indicators uh, looked at, which are the level of education a person attains, the status of a job or career, how much money he or she makes. Another aspect of social influences would include our social supports within our family, among our friends, and also within our jobs. How we learn to cope with stress in each of these areas is very much affected by how we were raised, as well as the tone of the environment that we're exposed to at any given time. For instance, there is, um, if there are strong social supports available, the likelihood of maintaining wellness is so much greater than for someone who lives in a situation where there's family dysfunction and distress, or if you have a job with low satisfaction um, regarding how you feel supported or valued by bosses or coworkers. In regard to cultural influences, uh, this is also a very broad spectrum. This refers not only to our ethnicity and race, but also to gender, sexual preference, um, our perceived standing in the community, and education. Because of these factors being critical indicators of wellness and health, there has been a lot of research um, done to document just how much of a determinant these influences are regarding wellness. Religion is also included in the cultural perspective of how we shape our attitudes and behavior around health. According to Loma Linda University, spirituality has a definite positive impact on wellness. However, the question in our country is that we have such uh, diverse backgrounds in religion that it does pose a challenge for providers in uh, determining how they can best help their, their patients. Um, so basically what providers are doing now as, as this part of healthcare becomes more mainstream is they do a um, spirituality, spirituality history with their um, patients in order to better understand um, the patient's background and spiritual beliefs. One tool is called the FICA, F-I-C-A, Spirituality History Tool. It was created by a doctor Pakalski, along with some other doctors and medical professionals. This an acronym, I'm sorry, an acronym FICA stands for Faith, Belief, um, and Belief, Importance, Community, and Address in Care. Questions are asked in each of the categories regarding the patient's religious or spiritual beliefs in order for the care plan to implement the patient's beliefs to complement other treatments being provided. Um, the references that I used are genes, behavior, and the social environment, moving beyond nature, uh, the nature-nurture debate, and that would be from um, the Nas National Institute of Health. FICA Spiritual History Tool is from the um, George Washington University. Um, uh, website and healthcare and religious beliefs is from Loma Linda, Loma Linda uh, Medical Center. So 
this is just briefly touching on the, the main parts of what I wanted to present and I look forward to everybody else's um, projects as well as we learn a lot in the very, very broad spectrum of health and wellness. Thank you.